G'day, it's George Truman from Northwest Local Land Services. Today I wanted to update you on a national land care program we have running with Heart Rural, New South Wales DPI, Local Land Services and the Grassland Society of New South Wales. It's a pasture benchmarking and trial that we have running in the Baraba and Manila area. The work was initiated um, from Heart Rural because of what seemed to be a lack of production from our tropical grasses in this region. And maybe this is related to the climate variability that we are seeing in recent years, or whether it's some management decisions that people are making. So we've set up some uh, trial plots that we're looking to then extend out into the paddock in the coming year. Thanks, George. We've got uh, six sites here at the moment uh, with a basis of, what, of local land practices, followed by uh, variants uh, with trace elements, two biologicals, uh, and also different applications of urea. Uh, the other side is that, that we're using different grazing management. So we're using standard practice here, uh, allowing it to get up to about 5,000 kilos. And these ones we're using more of a dairy style practice with cell grazing. So we're looking at uh, grazing at a certain height and grazing to a certain height to allow leaf matter. Uh, we've already done one cut uh, so far with this um, and we've had 80 millimetres of rain for the month. Tell you this, one of the things we did find out was that uh, we had an earlier, we had a failure due to sowing depth, we've re-sowed again and we sowed into stubble to give an indication of what would happen in the field if we were having to sow into say a cereal stubble which does happen through this whole district. As you can see for yourself, uh, this is basically using uh, standard practice of some crop lift 15 and some urea. Uh, you can see for itself that it's uh, strained ahead uh, compared to the other practices here, which are a little bit more advanced. We found out that trace elements such as zinc, moly, and boron, and potassium, have uh, shown the difference in the ability to handle stress and also regrowth. This was cut. These uh, plots here and those two there were only cut two weeks ago. So it's quite an amazing amount of growth uh, from there. Um, with the two back ones, you're looking at microbes uh, as a stimulant uh, for the root growth. The other one is a straight out root hormone growth promotant that from a commercial point of view that we're comparing the growth. At this stage, we're finding that the biologicals are slightly in front. Um, and what we will find too, that even these two here, we found that due to shade and are two weeks in advance, but I think over time, they, the other sites will start to catch up uh, uh, with, the, with their growth. But these will be cut today, no matter uh, production to see how they're going. One of the other which hasn't been done is dysmanthus. We're trying to look for a tropical legume that can be sowed at the same time, is drought tolerant and hardy, and so far it's done extremely well, very happy with it. And uh, to, uh, at the end of the week, we will be putting a, another plot in to have a look at a stylo um, and two other legumes, comparing that with the dismantus to see if they can give us an answer to uh, our biggest issue here, which is nitrogen production, uh, by using these as a legume replacement. That's it. Um, so the trials that we have here are in the, uh, in the pots. Um, unfortunately, due to the season, um, we couldn't have this up out in the paddock. Um, so the plan for next or for this year will be to replicate what we're seeing here, but in the paddock scenario. So, I mean, that was the, the ideal situation, but um, with the rainfall, um, we just had the, didn't have the capacity to. So, uh, so that'll be the, the next interesting step. But, um, through the, the project, it's certainly um, you know, opening up a lot of um, questions, um, but it's also providing us with some answers, and, uh, and it's, it's good working with the local producers um, as well as the DPI. We're starting to, uh, to build up, fill, up, fill some gaps, which um, I know a lot of producers uh, continue to ask us is, uh, you know, how do we can improve the, uh, the um, growth and the, uh, the livestock capacity. So uh, today was just an update. It's, a, it's an exciting project. Um, it's exciting now, at least there's a bit of rainfall around. So, uh, so that just uh, gives you an update and uh, we'll be sharing some more, um, more findings from this in the future.